People talk about the beautiful girlfriend like we're talking about the sport, not the girlfriend. Oh yeah. Yeah, big issue. Excuse me. Okay. Yes. Just wondering, what was the competition for? One ball there and it's tennis. Oh, oh World Series of Tennis. Yeah. Okay, and Katie Corrett was criticized for her makeup and dress. Men don't get criticized for their clothes, right? And Gabby, she was so great, she was a champion. What are the hate we see online? Her hair was bad, like, excuse me? She didn't go for a hair competition. Her hair is not bad. She went for the Olympics. Shut up already. See, this is what happened. And when they're over Kalo, are you the sister of Dr. Ron? or the wife of, why don't we just say, you are you. Okay, remember Rihanna? She got beaten up. And we, including me, still listen to Chris Brown and I drive, don't wake me up, it keeps me away. Like, why am I listening to him? <laughs> it, it's bad, huh? This is a bad example. And we always think women who are Muslims are covered. Not all, this is an example. She's the queen of Jordan, she's not. Okay, many more examples of women. I'll just say maybe class is the most important. Whoever is rich has power. Okay? And the US, whatever we say, even if you're poor, you're still number one in the world. Okay, you're still rich. This is a quote from Robert Reich in the program of Bill Moyer, Saturday uh, Sunday, 11 a.m. PBS. Inequality is real. It's personal, it's expensive, it was created. Today, 1% of Americans are taking home nearly 20% of the country's total income and own nearly 35% of the wealth of the U.S. This does not happen by accident. We allowed it to happen. Can you imagine 1% owning 35% of the wealth? 1%. You can count them in your fingers. Walton family, WM, the unspeakable shop, and then you have Gates, Warren Buffett, okay. And fast food, this is the feminization of poverty. Uh, many people work here, not as first job, it's a career. And uh, average age is 29 with children. You're paid very low wages, even if you work there for 10 years. But uh, McDonald's, are, uh, all of the large companies are in 7.4 billion, the top 10 fast food. And you know 50% of the workers get welfare, this is government money, tax money, going to corporate welfare. Because they're paid so low that the government taxation has to provide assistance to the worker. These are not lazy people. You know how to work in fast food. It's flipping fast. You have to churn up burger after burger. And that's why there's a call for unionization. So whoever you are, you may be gay, you may be a male or female, or woman, or color, if you're rich, you have power. Okay, if you're rich, you have power. Okay, if you're from a rich country, you still have power. It's all relative. And Christians have power. You know all TV programs. Okay. And if, and if you're atheist, you're being criticized. And this is a program, uh, very controversial. Uh, Oprah criticized. She swam from Cuba to Florida, you know her? Mm. Yeah. yeah. And she said, oh, you must not have a sense of awe and ah uh, because you're an atheist. I do, atheists do have awe and ah. Uh. We're not done, you know? Okay, and a lot of people say they do interfaith work, but they don't include Buddhists and Muslims. Uh, people are not of the Abrahamic religion, Jews, Muslims, or, I'm sorry, or uh, Christians are Muslims. And not all Muslims are alive. There are Muslims who say yes to women's rights and no to domestic violence. This yesterday, you know, yesterday's news from Texas, Austin. Okay? And people who are straight of power now have last two minutes left. I'll just say there are in fact five sexes. We think two, where choices are you male or female? That's really wrong. This is based on a uh, scientific study. Uh, this is medical study. Articles by Anne Paul still starting. There's the traditional male, traditional female, the herm, firm, and mer. Difference is you have the reproductive organ of the other sex too, fully developed or partly developed. And there are people. One of the workshop sessions talk about these five sexes. Not me, I'm just a one slide. I'm not one attempt that you want to know. Hey, 
Russia, it's a big issue if you're gay. Okay. Okay. You know this, right? Hip hop. Yeah, no, you don't know. Okay. Okay. Now, since we're one minute, I'll just say, in conclusion, we have to work together, uh, regardless of our color, ethnicity, well. Because we live in the same world, we have to fight for a better world for all of us. We all have different degrees of power and privilege, but we should try to learn how to share and care for others, not just work for ourselves. We should be involved here and now. Our eschatology, our struggle, it's not in the future, not in the theology, but struggling here and now. Thank you.